This morning I woke up in the curfew Oh God, I was a prisoner too Could not recognize the faces standing over me They were all dressed in uniforms of brutality Hey everybody, thank you very much for joining uh, today we're going to go over a classic Bob Marley tune, um, Burning and Looting. Three chords. Uh, I'm going to do mostly bar chords here, but you can also play these with your open chords as well. It's a great song. Uh, it's a great beginning song as well. Um, and if you're just learning bar chords, it's a great beginning song for that also. Uh, so we'll go over all that. As always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll type in. All right, so the three chords we have for Burning and Looting, we have... A minor, D minor, and an E. That's it. So that A minor, if playing bar chords here, so you're going to bar that 5th fret, ring finger goes on the 7th fret of the A, pinky goes on the 7th fret of the D. And that is your A minor. D minor, still barring that same 5th fret there. So now you've got your middle finger on the 6th fret here of the B. Uh, ring finger, I'm sorry, pinky finger is on the seventh of the G and ring on the seventh of the D. And that's your D minor. And that root note for the D minor, you're going to start on that A string, not the E. And then we have an E chord. Uh, for bar E chord here, we're barring the seventh fret with our index finger. And then ring finger is going to bar the um, the ninth fret here, starting on the D string, so D, G, B there, and that is your E chord. All right, so let me play through this real quick for you here. So let's go through um, let's go through the verse here and how we would play that. All right. So what I'm doing there on my A minor, I'm uh, doing down strum, and at the same time that I'm strumming down. I am also, with my left hand here, I'm pressing down, just just pressing my, my hand down, basically, in that chord shape. So. So first time through the verse, it's this morning I woke up in the curfew. And oh God, I was a prisoner too. So that's where we throw in our E. Um, and the E we're not doing the we're not doing it like that. We're, the E you're gonna play it more more like a straight chord. Faces standing over me. They were all dressed in the uniforms of brutality. Okay, um, so that that's how you play um, <clears throat> play through the verse there. Um, so I'll go over the riff if anyone's interested in kind of playing that. What I was doing after playing the E. Again, you don't have to do this. This is just something, you know, if you're interested in it. Um, so you can play your E here, or you can play your E up here. You can play it um, open if you'd like. 
But so the way I'm going through this lesson, I'm gonna stay with it down here. So. It's a really cool little, real, real cool little like riff here. Um, not too, not too difficult. Um, okay, so starting here on the seventh fret on that A to the eighth fret of that A, back to the seventh fret, fifth fret, and you're going over to the low E string, and you're getting eight, seven. back into your A minor, which is really, really, really cool. That's why I like playing it there. So we'll go through that again. And the other, the other riff that I kind of forgot about was just at the uh, the end of the um, the verse here, and it's just hitting open on the low E, and then third fret on the low E string, and going back to your A minor. So I was playing. Chorus is almost exactly like the verse, except for there's there's no E, so you're you're just playing the A minor to the D minor, and you can also do the that if you like. So that's um, burning and diluting tonight. super difficult song. Uh, it's great for great for beginning, great for learning, and it really helps out with trying to learn a little bit of how to do that reggae rhythm, right, which is something that's can, something that seems to be a challenge um, uh, a lot of times, and this this is just an easier, an easier uh, reggae song to play. Now, there are some where the rhythm gets really funky and it'll take a lot more practice, but this one I think is a really good starting point for it. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave any feedback, comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon.